Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to navigate through tier 5 building and playing quests effectively. The video is based on experimental version of Seven to Die 1.0. The extra info on my setting is here and without further ado, let's get into Okay, we reach the destination US Army Post 7. Today I'm gonna do tier 6 infestation quest with stealth build but my stealth build is late game so it has been like maxing out everything so this POI they will have this kind of towers around circle around the POI so you need to check each of them because they can randomly spawn one zombie on it there will be a lot of surrounding buildings that I will clear first, starting with this right side after I enter the POI. Clear some zombies behind these barracks. And then don't forget to check the green tower. Okay, I will not use ladder as a stealth build because I don't want to change my position from crouching to standing. Now I'm gonna clear the barracks, each one of them. For run and gun, bring a lot of AP ammo if you have because most of the zombie will be soldier zombies so they will have armor protection. Moving on to the second barracks. And after you're done, just go to the third barrack. This is the last one. Clear this one. And after you clear it, go, we're gonna go out through this door again. Because it's unlocked. Another door will be locked. And then you need to check the green tower behind it and clear some zombies behind it also. You get the gist of it. So now I'm gonna run to this tower and check it. Yep, that's one of them. Then I will go in to clear this building. They have two exit door and three garage door. Everything is unlocked. You can just use any entrance that you want. Clear every one of them. Afterward, you can just run to this helipad and clear the helipad. Don't forget to check the green tower behind it also. Okay, afterward, you jump down of that helipad, pass the tree, clear some zombies around here. It should be around here, but they now wake up and wander off already.
Then we're gonna clear these buildings. So for stealth build, you should go in the building as fast as you can because inside will be darker than outside and your stealth meter gonna be lower. Now let's get to the second one. the third one mm. my stone meter is high right now because of the light above me and that guy still know I'm here I'm still not hidden sometimes you can s they could they're just gonna look at you and you still know that you you are detected <laughs> you, you are not hidden yet if they're still staring at you Now the last part is the yellow tent So But before I go inside, I will clear the zombie set at the trash bin first And don't forget to check the green tower there. Now we're gonna go into the yellow tent and clear it. Hello, Snakey. Oh my god, he's doing break ants. <laughs> then this green tower also. Nothing. Nothing. I usually go up to the second floor of this building first because it's just next to the green tower. Clear the second floor, and then you go down to clear the first floor. OT, for That guy see me. Go in and hide. in the quest mister I just want to end more so there will be some loot on each tower also it depends on you if you want to loot or not and now we done the surrounding area we going to the clear the middle building I think I forgot to tell you that in the jail just now you can use the switch behind table to to open the jail to loot Okay, I'm gonna open and and then you need to come to this place, open the door and clear this room. The door here will be locked. You can't go in unless you press the switch to open it, but there will be a trigger. So be ready for it. In this infestation quest, there will be two set of trigger. Mm -hmm. For stealth build, usually I just do this, like go in front of the door for them to see me first, to make sure that that is the last place they saw me to start the timer. And yes, 
Now they forgot about me because the hidden bonus is working. Like they they will lose me faster if I equip the assassin set armor. Where where are you going, Mister? And now after I clear a bit, there there already a second set of spawn. Can't go in through here. Okay, gonna hide a bit. Everything is good. Now they already forget about me. Sometimes just a building block is really helpful to just buy time for them to to just stop hunting me. After you're done clearing the zombie, go into this room and clear all of zombies in this room. Now we will go upstairs because downstairs will be no zombies. You don't have to go there. As soon as you reach here, I recommend go out this door and clear the balcony before some of the zombies jump off. Then after you're done, go back in and clear the whole level. This floor will have a lot of zombies, especially in the back room. So run and gun build, you can jump outside and play around balcony or act the stairs, up to you. Now, now, we done. We go up again. And then at this little balcony, running gun, you should trigger everyone and they will run to you. For stealth build, it's fine, but playing daytime, it can be tricky because you can easily wake up a lot of people around here. So be careful about that. Okay, after you clear this area, we will go in again. There's two set of zombies in this room and above on the roof. But I will clear the roof later. But I will clear this room first because there are a lot of zombies in here. I want to reduce the number first in case of something happen afterward i will go back to this ladder you can nerd pull it because there are a lot of vulture on it but yeah you can also just go out and tank the vulture also Okay, and then clear some zombies on here. After you're done, you can go back downstairs through ladder or jump down here. And then we will go down this elevator shaft. For running gun player, you need to think about your defense now because there will be a lot of zombies here. Before you open this elevator door, there will be a lot of zombies, so think about your defense, okay? What you're gonna do about it. But for stealth build, it's fine, there's no trigger, this whole area just looks scary because there's a lot of zombies, but that's just it.
So now after you clear a bit of zombie, oh my god, you're just next to me. <laughs> you will spawn another set in infestation quests, so clear all of them. Now I'm going to clear the restroom, but we will come back to this restroom again because there will be a second set of spawn. Oh, it's infestation quest. Prepare for a second set of spawn, especially for running gun. We have to just spawn another set. You can see on the compass that the number is increasing. Okay, now I'm clearing this. Then we will go back to the last restroom to clear it again. Okay, we're done. Then we will go into that room to clear. This is the way forward. So clear this room and beware there will be another set of spawn. As you can see. Now go through this door and you should reach here. I just run and aggro a lot of zombies outside. That's not inside. That is just not related to the quest. There will be a lot of zombies here too, but I think for running gun player, you have like a space to play a bit. So it should be fine. The zombie on the left side at the end of this tunnel will have the second wave also. Yep, the, the zombie in that room will have a second wave, so after you clear a little bit of them, they will spawn another one. For infestation quests, of course. There you go. And we're done. Now we're gonna move forward. We're nearly there. I, what I mean is that we're nearly the last area, <laughs> but there's still a lot of zombies to kill. Clear the whole area. Well, you reach this area, the zombie will spawn in your compass and you just need to clear the whole area. As usual. After you're done, go out this door and climb up the ladder. We will reach this room. This room might actually be a good defense for running gun player because we're gonna reach the last room soon, so you might want to make a defense around here. For stealth build, I usually destroy all of the light source because. This hallway and that room is quite tricky. When you walk, sometimes it just increase your stealth meter to 40 at daytime. So since I'm reaching daytime soon, I'm gonna just be careful about it.
Now after I clear this room, I will go in to clear the server room as a stealth build. Don't go too far inside this area because there will be trigger spawn. And if you really overwhelm, you can open that wall door, you see the switch next to it, and then will lead you to outside of the building. So you can just play around with it if you get overwhelmed. But I tend to not open it in case there's some zombie from outside want to join in. So for a stealth build or running gun, try to not move to that that door at the end of like another side of this room yet because there will be trigger. Try to clear a lot of zombies first and then you can move forward to trigger them. In infestation quest there will be a lot of set of spawn also. Now I just trigger the first set. And then I will go back to this place to make a defense. You can make a defense and do running gun but I'm just gonna do the full stealth, full hidden status. So I'm just gonna block them and buy time a bit. And then that there you go. And now you can resume on clearing zombies. After you clear a bit, yep, there is a second set of spawn. Just gonna come out. For cell build, just wait a bit. Oops, this guy go through. As you can see at this room, the stealth meter just go gonna go high if I walk around. Especially in daytime, it's gonna be really tricky to walk around. Yes, yeah, you see, it's quite high. Now it's daytime. If I walk around here, it yep, yeah, it's go up to 40, 40. So it's a little bit tricky around this area when you walk back too far for stealth build so try to just play around this room as much as you can i don't know why it just show up 40 though because we indoor right <laughs> and there's no light i'm just gonna try to clear as much as i can in my experience there are four set of spawn of trigger spawn so prepare for another set Still not spawn yet. Okay, there you go. That's another set of spawn. Since I don't want to go back to that hallway, I'm just gonna try to defend here. Yeah. Okay, this one is 40. This one is a lot. Okay. I'll just clear as much as you can. And there is the last set. I hope that's the last set of spawn trigger. Oh, he's gonna crawl. And yes, now it should be good. You can just resume your stealth play and clear the whole area. After you clear every single one of them, they will have a yellow dot there, okay? That is another trigger spawn point inside the loot room. You can use the switch to go out here, but the switch to open that loot room is here. I will do the same thing, I will just trigger and then go back at this place to make a defense. And 
a little bit of warning there will have two setups spawn two setups trigger spawn from there as soon as you clear quite a little bit of them like this they're gonna spawn the second wave which is the last wave of zombie I think we could. Now you go in and clear all of them. And then after that, congratulations, you just clear tier 6 infestation quest, US Army Core 7. For the infestation loot, it's gonna be on the right side inside of the trigger spawn point. That is. Now after you're done looting, we will go out this door. This is the exit if you didn't use it yet. And we will reach the outside area. And that's about it for this quest. Quest straightforward, but it's just a little bit intense at the last part of the quest. For our stealth build, don't forget to use assassin armor in this POI for running gun, AP ammo, and have fun. And that's about it for the video. See you in the next POI. Bye bye.